Then I'll start then with the session. And then I'm going to join the session now and show you exactly where and how to find uh, the, the mentioned information that is uh, SA Publications. I'm joining you now. One moment for me. While I'm still joining, uh, next week, it will be a repetition of what I've discussed uh, this week. And it will also be a chance for you to ask as many questions as you can in the previous sessions. And it, it will be wise if you have dotted the questions because when I'm done with these, uh, with these sessions, no coming back i won't be coming back again and start these sessions again so it will be vital that you start uh, writing everything or anything down that you don't understand so that next week we can uh, uh, i can be able to attend to all your, your questions i'm starting to, to connect here Uh, with my university website. Let's give it a chance. It will connect soon. Uh, as I indicated earlier, that whenever you want to search any material in our subscribed databases, that is the university databases, you must always make it a point that you log on through www.ufs.ac.za. Then we have the platform that is right in front of you. If I can advise, uh, avoid using URLs or shortcuts because sometimes more special uh, off campus students used to struggle a lot uh, with because now we are using what we call proxy. You'll find if you are using a, a, a link which is on Blackboard and then Easy Proxy doesn't pick it up and then you find it and it will need the, the pin and the password so it's better if you go straight to the university website and then you log in from there and then as i've indicated earlier that you start that's why your, your session starts that is to search from the university website and then you come here you click on the library that's where all your databases are lining click on the library and then after you've clicked on the library, bear in mind that you are off campus. So you can use that off campus on your right hand side, or you can click on resources, and then you have a drop down menu, and then you select off campus. Then after you've clicked on off campus, then automatically is going to take you to where you have to type in your username, that is your student number, and the password that you use when you log on on Blackboard. Unfortunately, it doesn't require me to do that because I've already logged on. And then after, from the type in your username and password, then you go to a platform where you have to select that is electronic resources. Then you click on electronic resources, then it takes you to this platform. This platform, that's where then your search, you'll be searching here on A to Z list. Then you click on A to Z list database, where then it will give you all the bases that you are subscribed to. And then since I've indicated earlier that is our session today, 
will be specifically on searching articles on SA publication. And therefore, you'll click or you'll select S. And then after selecting S, then you scroll down. You scroll down, you are looking for SA publications. There is SA publications, and then you click on SA publications. And you'll be required to type in your student number and your password again so that you can have an entry to the database that you have selected. And then I type in my username and password so that I can also have an access to the database. And if you type in a, your correct, you type in incorrect information, the system will say the information you've typed in is incorrect and it won't allow you to access the database. That's what's happening now on me on my side. Right again. Then there we are. And this is the platform. That is the platform where your search starts, where your search for articles starts. And then I normally advise students that is to use advanced search or to select advanced search. Why selecting advanced search? Advanced search gives you more opportunities or more chances to type more of your information like keywords, phrases on those search boxes. It's not limited like the search all content. Let us click on search or let me click on advanced search so that you can see what I'm specifically talking about. Then I click on advanced search and then that's where then you'll be typing your keywords or your phrases. If you have more than one phrase or you have more than one keyword, you are allowed to type in in those boxes, but you need to click on the plus sign so that it gives you more spaces or more search boxes. The more you click on the plus sign, the more those boxes comes out. And then if you see here, we have an arrow or a drop down menu. When you click on that drop down menu, we have what we call Boolean operators. And then don't change anything from this. It should stay as end. Don't change it to all or not. I'll explain that to you uh, uh, next year. But for now, stick to end because you are combining two phrases of the information that you're looking for. And then it will give you exactly the information that you're searching for. But if you change those, you use or or not, then it will either give you one information or another. Uh, you can keep on typing the questions. I'll come back to the questions after our session. And then, as you know that the lecturers, they always give you a topic of an assignment. So you don't take the topic as it is and you copy it in these boxes. But what you are supposed to do as a student, if you have a topic, then you select or you underline certain phrases from that topic. And then you take those phrases or those keywords you type in in these boxes or in these search boxes. Let us say, for instance, our topic for the day is how labor relations act monitor equal work and equal pay, meaning that there should be a ratio of equality when you have the same work as someone have done, irrespective of the person is white or black. But that equality of the same work, then it means the pay also should be the same amount as the other person. 
no matter that person is a male or is a female, no matter is young or old, but if then the work is the same, it means there should be equal pay. And it means the topic, it says how labor relations monitor equal work and equal pay. Then on my side, I will take only few phrases. One phrase will be equal work. The second one will be equal pay. And then I will include the legislation because the legislation is the one that monitor or that guides or regulate. That is, if we have worked amount of these hours, amount of these weeks, amount of these days, then you are equal to this amount of, uh, of a wage or of a salary. Therefore, I'll type in here, labor relations, It is 66 of 1995. You know, this labor relations 66 of 1995 is this one, but I won't type in the number and the year. I will only type in the name of the legislation that is Labor Relations Act. And I'm combining Labor Relations Act with a phrase that is the first phrase that is equal work. And then after equal work, the second box, I'm typing in equal pay. And then I have on the first block, Labor Relations Act, the second one, equal work, and the third one, equal pay. And then now I have to do my search, and then I click here on the search box. Or I click on this search button. And then the system will search information according to my keywords that I've put in or I've typed in on those search boxes. If you see on your screen, the first result is equal work for equal pay. Second one, equal work for equal pay, meaning all these articles are relevant. How do you see that all these articles are relevant? If you see here, sort results, it's marked red. So it means as also you can see the titles of the articles are exactly what you have typed in on those search boxes. So now you want to use your articles for your assignment. Firstly, you can select the whole list of articles and you send it to yourself. How do you do that? This is the list of articles. And then you want to send it to yourself or maybe to your colleague or whoever you were doing a search for. And then at a later stage, then you can open each article and go through it and see whether the article is really relevant or not. Or you want it to use, or you don't want it to use. Then I'm selecting all these articles and then I'm sending them to my email box. Then I mark here right on top on my left hand side. I click on select all, and then the system will mark all of them. That is the, the first page. It marked 20, as you could see here, it says 20 articles are marked. And then next to these 20 export selection items, there's an email selected items. If I click on email selected items, then it means I'm sending these articles to myself or to any recipient of my choice. Then I click on the email selected items, and this pop out will come out. That's where then on the recipient email address, I'll be typing the email of the person I want to send these articles to, and obvious the subject will be equal work versus equal pay. And I'll click on send, and then all the first 20 articles will straight go to that recipient. And then if I don't want to, se to send the whole list of articles, you are still welcome, for instance, I'll select the first one, 
and say the second one also is relevant and also I want that one and then this one. And then when you scroll up, the system will show you here you have selected three, no longer 20. And then again, you go and click on email selected items. And then only three articles this time will be sent to the email recipient. And then you click send and they will go to that email address. But now you don't want to send articles, but you want to open each article and, and download it to your device or to your desktop, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. How do you do that? When you click here on the plus sign, where it says plus sign more, you click on plus sign and more. And then it opens. And then after it has opened, but not the whole article, but it shows you now you can click on download or you can edit this article to your favorites or you can still only this one. You can still send this article to any recipient. Then if you click on download, And the system will download the article. It is, as you could see, our title is equal work for equal pay. And then this is the article. And 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 then you can save it to any device of your choice. Then if you want to go back to your list of results, you click on Subinet results, then it takes you back. And if you want to close this one, you click on minus less, then it will close that one. And if you want to open the second one again, if you don't want to click on the plus sign, you can simply click on the title of the article and just double click on the title. And it will open like this and you have what we call an abstract. In order for you to know whether an article is relevant or it is not relevant, what you need to do, you need to read an abstract of an article. What is an abstract? An abstract is a summary of the whole article. It tells you exactly what this article is all about. And you'll only find that information only after you have read the abstract, but not the whole article. If you have double click on the title, then you'll have an abstract. Then you can go through an abstract and then you read the abstract. Then you'll decide after you have read the abstract that this article is relevant. So you can still download this article right on top again. And you have the article. It is the title that's an author of the article. November and the year from this source that is Prujitize. Bear in mind, Prujitize is the source of an, of an article. Subinet is not a source of an article, but Subinet is a database where you find articles. A source of an article is a journal that is without Prujitize digitize is the channel that is the source of an article and then you could see the author there and then the year this article was written in which month in november by who by ludwig freck Arp. and then when you scroll down you scroll down you write you read the article and if you find this article is relevant, if you could see within that article, there are some cases that are mentioned there. And you go down and read the article. And also, there are certain uh, labor relations, there are certain legislations which are also uh, mentioned here. If you see, we have EEEA, Employment Equity Act. 
So Employment Equity Act was also used on this article. And also on Employment Equity Act, they have taken from Employment Equity Act Section 6. As you could see here, Section 6 in brackets was also mentioned, meaning Employment Equity Act and that section specifically deals with Employment Equity Act. And then when we're talking about Employment Equity Act, specifically it means then this section was defending it's either a certain gender from a discrimination. It's either it was a, a male or a female where a system was discriminating him or her in terms of a wage. But I didn't read the article, but I just think because I know Employment Equity Act, not only that, not only that act, but all other acts. Employment Equity Act, Labor Relations, there's a list of all the acts. You don't have only to use one uh, uh, labor related uh, legislation when you are doing an assignment. There are more than one. And then again, you can go to your list again, and then you still have your list of sources. And if you look on your right hand side, you have what it says here access keys. Access keys are the keys that uh, means if sometimes an article says to you, you need to pay 40,000 US dollars. It means that that article, the University of the First State, is not subscribed to. For instance, the first one, it says S. S means title subscribed to, meaning the university is subscribed to this, uh, to any article that is having an S, like this one. And OA, it says open access content. It means then it's obvious when it says open access, anyone can have an access to that article like this one, it says OA. And then it says free content. When it, when it says free content, it's more or less the same as this one. You don't have to pay any fee. The content is freely available. And then there's this one with an N, this one, it says titles not subscribed to, meaning this one that is with an N doesn't allow you, it stops the first one, the second one, and the third one. You are not subscribed, it's not open access, it doesn't have a free content. So meaning it's that one specifically, it will show you on your right hand side that you need to pay Forty US dollars, and since the university and you are a registered university student, and you need that article, don't have to worry. And you, what you need to do, that amount of money is part the package or is part of your registration or whatever the uh, your study fee. So what you need to do, you only go into the university website and you contact Mr. Mukhuputi, that is an ILL officer, inter-library loan officer. You can contact Mr. Mukhuputi online by filling a form that is available online, or you can contact him directly on the number 051-401-226. After you have filled in the form of the ILL, you will be required to type in the title of the article, the author of the article, the page numbers of that article, the source of that article, and also the year of that article and the month, and also uh, the volume. Because Normally we have volume one, volume two, volume three, then and specifically the volume or an issue number of that article. And up to so far, that's how you search this database and get information. 
about any article. Let's do the last one again. Let us, for instance, our topic is how criminal procedure act combat human trafficking in South Africa. And that what you need to type in, as I've indicated earlier, you must have your phrases, you must underline your keywords. The first phrase here will be human trafficking. And the second one will be combat. Combat is, might be the synonym, it is the synonym of control. Combat. And then you see, we don't have another space. Then I'll click here on the plus sign. And then I'll type in here. I can either type Criminal Procedure Act, or I can type Human Trafficking Act, or I can simply type South Africa. It includes all South African legislation. That is the country, South Africa. And then I'll click on search and make it a point all the time that your phrases or your keywords are correct. And then I click on search. And then the system will retrieve the information. As you could see, the information has been retrieved. Follow the leader, the best practice to combat human trafficking in the United States, the legal framework of the human trafficking in Germany, the effectiveness of sentencing and meeting to combat human trafficking. So these are the articles. Then you go through all these articles and then you select which ones that you were looking for and you are looking specifically for South Africa, then meaning you have to go through and then and see which articles are relevant to your topic. This one is relevant human trafficking in South Africa, and that one and that one, when you go down, you see there's a lot of articles that are referred to a South African context. Then you apply the very same procedure. If you want all these articles, you mark them all, you click on email, and then you type in the email address of the recipient and the subject will be human trafficking. And then you click on send and then the person on the other side will retrieve the articles. Or you click on the plus sign and then you can download the article. And then we have the article and then you can read the abstract of the article and then to find out whether this article is relevant or it is not relevant. After you have read the abstract, then that's where then you'll start to decide whether you save this article or you don't want the article. Then you go back to your list of articles again, and then you can choose the second one or you can choose the ones that you have, you have preferred uh, for your article or you preferred are the best for your assignment or for any piece of legal research. And then I'll go to your questions and answer all the questions on the list or on the list chat. And then, then if is there any question, please don't pull back, ask any question or raise your hand and open your mic and ask a question. Let me firstly answer the questions on the chat box. Okay, look, what is more compatible with Chrome, Nambita. Good morning, sir. Uh, it is necessary to search for all articles, even though our lecturer has already provided us with them for our assignment. That's a good question, Tabi saying. Uh, if the lecturer has provided you with articles, uh, it's, it's up to you if you want to search more articles, just to add a flavor on your topic or on your assignment. because. I mean, everyone is going to use those articles that are provided by the lecturer. So in order to prove that we have a different taste or you have added more salt on your assignment, then what you, you can simply do, just go and do 
uh, and the legal search on our subnet uh, legal platform.